This is me and Julia Suska's uh, project for the multimedia. Uh, we're going to be doing do's and don'ts on eyebrows because we all love them, but some of us don't know how to do them. Yeah, we're, we're just not blessed. So yeah. uh, here, here it is. Go. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure that your eyebrows are properly trimmed and plucked. Personally, I like to do it myself, but if you don't know how to do it, then I suggest you don't do it yourself because you will end up with no eyebrows. I learned that from experience. So once you have your eyebrows plucked and trimmed, then you can get into products. And there's different types of products. So there's a brow powder, and when you open it, it looks like this. So you have lighter shades and the white shade is to put under your eyebrows so you can highlight the bone. You can also use a pomade. This is from NYX. It's really good. It looks like this. It's good. It's really good. And you can also use a eyebrow pencil. It literally just looks like a pencil. It's Rimmel London and don't mind the top because it's a bit bad. But those are the products that you need for actual eyebrows and you will also need a spoolie to blend out the product. And after you're done filling in your eyebrows, I would suggest getting some concealers to like carve out your eyebrows because sometimes it can get messy and product will get spread. So it's a good thing to have that. And eyebrow gel. Eyebrow gel, in my opinion, is like a must-have because it sets your eyebrows in place and it just makes a huge difference. And this is optional, you know, you don't need to do it if you don't want to, but a highlighter would be good just to pull right on the bone of the eyebrow because it makes a difference. The first don't on this video is don't overdraw your eyebrow out, out of its natural shape. That's the last thing you want to do because everyone will notice that it is over dramatic and out of your natural shape. Alright, so now we look like Shrek and yeah. That See? Is, yeah, no. no, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't, don't, no. don't do this. Don't. Now make sure that the color of your pencil matches your natural hair color because you will look like this. Okay, now for the first do is I've already lined my eyebrows to its natural shape with pomade and I'm just filling it in with a powder. For the faded effect of your eyebrow, take leftover product on your brush and line it at the bottom and brush upwards like so. Okay, I used too much concealer in this, but don't use as much as I did. But use the concealer to carve out your eyebrow for a precise, cleaner shape. Any concealer doesn't matter. Make sure your brush is clean. And I just did this really quick and this is kind of the wrong way to do it, but you, know, you get the picture. Okay, you get it. Bye. <laughs> so with a pencil, I already lined the bottom and top of my eyebrows and filled it in and blended it out with a spoolie. And then taking some concealer, I carved out my eyebrows and blended it with a beauty blender. Aw, yes. Now taking some brow gel, I'm going to distribute it throughout the hairs. And at the front, I'm just going to brush my hairs upwards so it creates more of a natural effect. Uh, this way, my eyebrow can actually stay like this for the whole entire day and not go anywhere. You could also use a hairspray and Welcome back to my channel and um, today we're going to be doing um, eyebrows because eyebrows? we have none. We <laughs> 